Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today bring the camera on down guys I want to show y'all a little dish that I am putting together here today I actually got this idea from cowboy Kent Rollins uh, if you haven't seen his videos you need to check out his channel I'm doing it a little bit differently than he does it today and I hope it turns out good we have our 12 inch skillet here we put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of it and earlier we uh, browned some hamburger meat with an onion, okay? Sauteed an onion in there and put a sp spaghetti seasoning package in there as well. And then we put one jar of pizza sauce in there. What we're gonna do is layer the bottom of this pan here in just a minute with that. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna tell you the rest of the ingredients. You will need, of course, hamburger meat. You'll need an onion. You'll need a spaghetti seasoning pack and you'll need a jar of either tomato sauce or I went ahead and just done it with pizza sauce, okay? You will need some sour cream and you will need some cheese of your choosing. Um, I've got a triple cheddar blend here that I'm gonna use today. I was gonna use some mozzarella as well, but I uh, don't have it on hand. I thought I did, but I don't. And you're gonna need a little bit of butter to um, put over the crust. And if you'll bring the camera over here right quickly to the table without show them our, showing them our messy kitchen, we have just a pizza crust that you can buy in the grocery store. You know, you just pop it out, lay it out on a clean surface, flour it up a little bit, and stretch it out. So we got that waiting right now, and we'll show you what we do with that in just a moment. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this uh, medley of hamburger meat, pizza sauce, onion, and... So forth and we are going to put all this into our skillet okay get all that goodness in there all right now lay this aside and we're going to spread this out on the bottom of the pan just as evenly as we can okay guys we got that all leveled out nicely next thing we're going to do is we're going to this is a 16 ounce container of sour cream and we're going to use about half of it maybe a little bit more if it takes it we're going to dab this down on here and then we're going to kind of spread it out spread out a nice even layer on there if you can i'm going to get most of it on out of here if i can about how much i think i'm going to need we might have actually a little extra i don't know okay we're going to go ahead and work and spread this out right quick and then we'll move on to the next step okay now we have our sour cream all spread on there nice and evenly we're going to go ahead and sprinkle and cover this thing with our blend of triple cheddar cheese now you can use mozzarella or whatever your favorite cheese is i'm sure about any of them would be good on this dish i'm gonna go ahead and layer this good all right i'm gonna keep working with this guys and then we'll show you how to put that pizza crust down on it okay folks we're back over here at the table where we have our sourdough um pizza crust and we're actually gonna i don't know if you can see that we can we're just gonna lay it right over top here as much as we can okay we're gonna have a little bit of excess so we're gonna take a knife we're gonna tuck it down on there and then take us a knife and we'll just trim it off and then we'll be ready to go on to the next step okay folks we got a knife here I hope this is sharp enough and we're gonna try to cut this uh, pizza crust here I might need to go out to the shop and get me a razor blade knife <laughs> anyway we're gonna go ahead and keep trimming here till we get this uh, kind of cut and then place just where it covers our whole dish here. Okay, now that we have our pizza crust in place here, we've got a little bit of melted butter here and one of these little paint brushes. And we are gonna just go ahead and pour this on here and brush it around. And then we're gonna throw a little bit of this Parmesan cheese on top of here and we will be ready to put it in our oven. Okay guys, for the last part, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of this, and then we're gonna, we've already got an oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're gonna throw this in here for about 25 to 30 minutes. Keep an eye on your crust, make sure it don't get too brown. All right guys, going in the oven. And we'll set the timer. Here's our upside down pizza. The relatives are here and they've almost devoured it already. But as you can see, it has a nice brown crust, and I've already taste tested it myself, and it is delicious. 
You folks, thank you for watching the video today. You'll definitely have to try this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.